The other day I had a web server go down and I didn't even realize it. Now there are lots of ways to test for websites. And actually uh, next week I'll probably show you some of the ways that you can do that. But here's the deal. I don't have a great way to get a notification if something goes wrong. What I really want is to have a push notification that I can have instantly sent to my phone, something like a text message, but to use like an email gateway for text messaging is not always that robust. It doesn't always work. It's not reliable. So I want Want something that I can push at will from the command line or from any number of tools and get that message right away. Now I found a tool that I think is absolutely perfect. It's not completely free. I want to stress that this is not a free tool, but it's a one time purchase. So it's not like an ongoing subscription and it's called pushover. <laughs> Now, one of the things I like about Pushover, which you can get to at pushover.net, is that it works for iOS, so Apple's, it works for Android, plus it also works just in a browser. And you can have your messages go to you on all of those platforms at once. Now, I'm going to log in. This is actually my personal Pushover account. And hopefully this is blurred out. This is my user key, which you'll have your own user key. But what I want to show you is uh, there are three different licenses you can get. You can get a license for an Android phone, uh, for a, an iOS device, and for a desktop browser. You have to pay for each one individual. So since they're five dollars each that means that you might end up paying 15 whole dollars if you want to use this but then it's a pay once and you're done you don't have to like do a subscription service now i am just going to have it be on my iphone and the browser so for me i'm going to end up paying ten dollars but there is like a week free so you can try it to see if it really does what you want it to do so um you can sign up for any of the platforms if you have like multiple browsers you only have to pay for one desktop license if you have an iPhone and an iPad, uh, you only have to sign up for one iOS license. You can have multiple devices, but the license is specific to the platform. So you can get a total of three, desktop, iPhone, and Android, uh, but that's all you'll have to do. And like I said, it's a one-time purchase. There are, uh, there are upgrades for, you know, there is a subscription service if you need more than 7,500 messages a month. If so, then you're probably... I, I don't know. That's a lot of messages. So I'm not worried about reaching that, that place where I'm going to have a lot more messages uh, than the free or than the pay once service pays for. But anyway, once you sign up, you have seven days to try it out. And there's a neat web app that you can try out. So let's check that out. And basically here, uh, I want to send as uh, I can use my own application, which we're going to look at in a second, but uh, push over. I want to send it to all of my active active devices or just one. I'm just going to send it to my uh, my phone, which is named Borg Implant uh, default sound the title. So it it doesn't have to have a title, but I'm going to put something happened. And the message I want to send is it was bad. You should fix it. All right, uh, URL, if you have a link that you want to include, it can send that. I'm just going to send the notification. And then if you look at my phone, sure enough, it popped right up on my screen. It buzzed, it's really awesome. Now, one of the things I particularly like about Pushover, if you look on the top right here, iOS critical alerts, you can actually have it send alerts. Even if your phone is in silent mode, you can have it send a really loud alert. And this is something you can script in with applications. So this is more of an advanced feature I'm not gonna go over, but just know that you have the ability to push messages that will create that will force your phone to go off so you can't miss a very critical message. So you have the ability to make priority levels and uh, with an iOS device, you can actually make it make noise even if it's in silent mode. So it's a great service, but you don't just want to go to the website to send it. I actually wrote a tiny little bash script that I'll share with you. It's actually at GitHub now. You can download it. And basically what it will do is it will allow you to send a push notification from the Linux command line uh, using curl. It just actually does a, an online form. It submits it to their API. You do have to create an application. So let's look where you do that, and then I'll show you the bash script really quick. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page here, it says your applications create an application API token. If you click on that, it'll walk you through the process of actually making an application. You just name the application. I named mine bash push. Uh, you don't have to describe it or give it a URL. You don't have to do anything else except name it. And then you have to click the box that you agree, 
and then click Create Application. And what that will do is give you a special token that you can use in the API. And where you would put that in, I'm gonna switch over now. This is my GitHub page. So github.com, uh, Sean Powers with a zero for the O and this push over dash push project. This is really the only file in there. It's just called push. And if you download this or copy and paste it and put your token that we just created. So that token that we just created goes here. Your user key that was on that first page goes right here. And then you can just use this to send your own message via the command line. So this is all that's required to send a message. Now the title, I just put this here, uh, message from Bash. You can put whatever that is, uh, whatever you want the title to be. And then the message is whatever you put on the command line. So it looks like this. Let's actually do it. So I'm here in just a random server. If I look at, I don't want to look at it. It's that same thing on GitHub, but it has my token in it. So all I have to do is do push. And then this is a test message. And it's going to give me the response that, okay, the status is good, it's sent. And then if we look at my phone, we can see sure enough, it came to my phone just like the other one that I sent from the website. Hopefully that wasn't too fast, it wasn't too confusing. I will put a link to my GitHub page with that bash script on it. I'll also put a link to pushover.net. Remember, you get seven days free when you sign up, uh, but you can pay for a one-time fee of five bucks for each platform. So if you just want phone notifications, either pay five bucks for Android, five bucks for iOS, and it will send it directly to the thing. Then of course you have to download on iOS or Android, you have to download the actual Pushover app, which is free, uh, and then you can get those things notified to you. Now, I wanna show you some uh, some ways to monitor your services. Uh, I'm gonna do that in another video. We'll do that probably next week, but you can use Pushover as your method to actually push those notifications. It's been very reliable. It's very affordable, five bucks one-time fee. So I don't think you'll regret it. And you can give it a seven-day trial right now to see if it's something that you want to invest those uh, $5 per platform on. Anyway, I'll see you next week, but play with it and have fun because at least for seven days, it's free. I'll see you next time.